Meanwhile, families in the Bahamas are in desperate need of supplies to give back. We're hosting the Action News Jack's Convoy of Care to collection donations for the Bahamas. Look at how many people showed up to today. Uh, flew, uh, Sky Action News Jack's was over that event just about an hour ago. You can see all the cars lining up around Maggiano's. Of course, once again, that's near the St. John's Town Center right there. Action News Jack's Elizabeth Pace is live there now. And Elizabeth, you not only filled up one truck today, but now almost the second truck is filled up. Yeah, and get this filled now. We're on our fourth drop in truck. It just pulled up within the last five minutes. But first, look at all the traffic that's going on around here. This is a good problem to have only because all of these families will be getting more help in the Bahamas. That line is wrapping around Maggiano's. Now, I don't want to get in the way of this because we have a lot of people dropping off supplies, but just take a look at everything we've been able to collect so far. Again, we're about to wrap up the third truck over here and the fourth one just pulled up in front. Cars wrapped around the building. <laughs> Trunks open, filled with supplies. Thank you. These are the supplies that will help families who are left with nothing in the Bahamas. Oh, well, it's the right thing to do. They've been decimated down there, and you have to have water in order to survive. We're asking for bottled water, hygiene items, baby supplies, pet food along with flashlights and batteries. Jason Corley dropped off the largest donation so far today, three pallets worth of water. Well, we enjoy coming out. We enjoy helping the community and working with other countries and other states that may need help in the future. This is where your donations will go to these families in the Bahamas. Patricia Brown is one of them. She says she's from Nassau and was there when Hurricane Dorian hit. Although they have some flooding, she says her family in the Abaco Islands lost everything. And right now they can't even turn to a nearby store to get supplies. For the long haul, we're going to need a lot of help. So all of this is, is definitely going to go a long way because we need it. And thank you. Now you're looking at more and more people dropping off supplies. This isn't even just the Action News Jackson, our news partner, 104.5 WOKV. Random people are getting out of their cars and staying to help. We're all going to be out here until 2 o'clock this afternoon. Again, it's near Maggiano's at the Roundabout. Reporting live at the St. John's Town Center, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.